Good evening, friends and family of Bethlehem. Uh, welcome to a night of music and hope. Uh, I'll be your guest tonight. My name is Tim Amy, and uh, if anything doesn't sound right or work right, it's my fault. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, that's how we roll around here. Um, I would like to just give you a brief opening about what you're in for tonight. Uh, we're going to have three different sets with two different stages and two different bands here. Um, so that's kind of exciting uh, change that we'll be doing. But also, in between our sets, we have some special guests that will be a part of, uh, of tonight's activity, bringing more music and celebrating more hope. Uh, so those guest appearances are going to be kicking this off. But before we do, I want to talk about one extra thing. Besides celebrating the hope we have, tonight is also about sharing the hope we have. We're looking to share that hope through the music, through the word, and if you're inspired to do so, to join us by also joining and supporting the Military Bible Stick Hope for Our Heroes campaign. And you can do that at BethlehemSCV.com slash hope. For every Bible Stick that you sponsor, Military Bible Sticks will be sent to our soldiers, sailors, and airmen serving around the country. They'll be receiving a small device that allows them to listen to the Gospels as well as the Psalms. Um, and their families at home will also receive an audio Bible. It's an exceptionally awesome way for us to share that hope we have in Jesus with those who serve and protect us uh, day in and day out. Um, as you know, today is 9-11. Uh, it is the 19th anniversary of those tragic events. And uh, we're going to reflect on those tragic events in part because there are parallels between what, what occurred then and what we're going through now. But one of the most important parallels is the need for hope for a need for, for us to understand how much God loves us. And when we understand that, how that can influence our behavior, what we do, really how we treat one another. So I would like to ask you to join me in prayer as we open tonight's activities, uh, tonight's concert. And then we're going to hear from a legend, a legend from this church, a legend in music, a legend in the spirit. Uh, I'll get to him in just a minute. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you, Lord. I want to join my brothers and sisters here in this facility as well as those uh, all around who are streaming this concert. I want to thank you, Lord. We want to thank you for your blessings, for the fact that no matter what we're going through, Lord, we have hope in you. A hope that does not waver, a hope that does not change based on our circumstances, but rather a hope that gets us through, over, around every challenge. A knowledge that because of your love for us, all of the mistakes and all the challenges they will never keep us from you. Lord, help us to celebrate that tonight. Help us as we do remember some of the tragedies and struggles that we've encountered in this world. May we also be inspired as we have been brought through those tragedies by you, our Lord, that you're going to get us through each and every struggle. Thank you, Lord. We love you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now, if you would please uh, join me as we welcome to, uh, to the stream the legendary Robbie Robinson. Hi, my name is Robbie Robinson. My friends, these are troubled times, pandemic and social unrest crippling our country. Today is September 11th. Of course, we went through troubled times 19 years ago on this very date. The parallel between then and now is profound. In both instances, we as a nation were punched in the gut. When 9-11 hit in 2001, I was serving as the Minister of Music here at Bethlehem. I came together with some of my talented friends and we put on a concert called Jam for Freedom. We're gonna go back in the time machine now and show you some clips from that night. You'll recognize Tony Gallon, Fino Rovarato from Bethlehem's current wonderful, amazing music ministry. Though I might add younger versions. Many of you will recognize other singers and musicians who have blessed Bethlehem through the years. Brothers and sisters, one of the best, one of the most powerful things that we can do whenever we find ourselves in trouble is to get on our knees. Not to get on our knees in defeat, but to get on our knees in prayer. For the Bible tells us, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. So here is Jam for Freedom. Or the land of the free and the Yes. 
to everybody. My name is Larry Carroll, and I want to welcome you tonight. As I want to welcome you tonight in the name of Jesus. We are here. We are here. Do you know this guy? This is Robbie Robinson, if you don't know this guy. We are here because Jesus called Robbie. And Robbie called us. And Jesus called us too. We are here because we are called upon to be a part of something that's much bigger than we are. Souls cried out on September 11th. It was a 911 day. It was an emergency call day for people like you and me to enter that warfare prayerfully and to bring some healing to a situation that desperately needs it. There's not a lot that we can do, but at the same time, there's everything that we can do because there's nothing more powerful than when people pray. Nothing more powerful than that. But something struck me as we were singing the national anthem, and that is the expression that we all know, one nation under God. That's pretty cool. Sometimes I pray that we would be one nation submitted to God, how much stronger we might be. If my people, stop me if you heard this before, if my people who are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, then would I hear from heaven and heal their land. If my people pray and reach for me with hearts that are broken, I will not forget what I've spoken. Come and seek my face, and heaven will rain. Rivers of my grace overflowing. Night and day my ears will be open. If my people pray. My America, you are my home, you are my family, America, my America, where my heart will always be.
Well, that was an awesome uh, montage there. You know, that's 2001. That's about almost the third year that uh, Liz and I were members of this congregation. And uh, it's a long story about what was going on with me at that time. But I'll say this. Um, when we first walked into this church three years before that, uh, that concert, I walked in and I said, is, uh, uh, boy, I just blanked on his name. Thank you, Andrew Goldsmith. Is that Paul Schaefer? Uh, that's leading worship there. And it uh, turns out, of course, we all know Robbie's friends with everybody. He's friends with Paul. But I, uh, I of course, Liz and I have been members ever since. Um, and uh, the music here has been a huge part of the blessings of being a part of Bethlehem. And having said that, I want to introduce you to the, uh, our first act tonight, our worship band here at Bethlehem. I'm going to start with Tony, uh, right here in the center, right behind me. I was covering you up there. We got uh, Fino over here. I'm not going to tell you what they play because, you know, you're going to figure that out. We have Ariane over here. Hiding way back over there is Ed. We've got Kirk with the world's largest fiddle. <laughs> and back here, hitting stuff for a living, is Rod. Yeah. And so, if you would at home give them a round of applause, let's get rolling. Well, let's give Tim a round of applause. Yes. And this crew, let's give this crew a round of applause. Yes. I just want to thank Robbie for uh, the work he put in to do that with us tonight. Thank you. God bless you, Robbie. I hope you're watching. <clears throat> Uh, we're going to start with a song that I wrote um, about 35 years ago, <laughs> when I was about nine. <laughs> she, she laughed. <laughs> Ariane laughed. Uh, actually, when I wrote it, it right now the, they changed the title because we recorded it and changed the title to Nothing Can Come Between Us. And it's based on Romans 8, which was the original title of the song. And um, the, reason I, the reason I entitled it Romans 8 because... Being Italian, that's what Romans did. They ate. They ate <laughs> pasta. They ate. No, no, I'm only kidding. Oh, I'm only kidding. Just you want to get a laugh out there. Get you going, okay? <laughs> anyway, this is about um, nothing coming between you and the love of Jesus. You ready? And the love of Jesus Nothing can ever separate us from God's love Oh no That's it Nothing can come between you and the love of Jesus Nothing can ever separate us from God's love No wealth can Not even golden treasures Buried deep in the land Nothing anyone can possibly say Not even hell itself Can keep God's love away Nothing can come between You and the love of Jesus Nothing can ever separate from God's love Oh no Now listen If God is for us Who can be against us Nobody can Nobody can Nobody can Nobody can Who can confuse us Condemn or abuse us Nobody can Nobody can Play a little.
Yes, nobody can, nobody, nobody can. can. Who can't confuse us, condemn or refuse us? Nobody can, nobody can. Tag that one time. Oh, nothing can come between you and the love of Jesus. Oh, no. Nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Oh. How's everybody doing out there? Let's see some hearts. Let's see those hearts raising. Hey, Tony. Yeah, Tony. Tony. I got a great song next by uh, probably the most successful songwriter of all time, uh, Paul McCartney from the Beatles, in case you weren't there at the time. And in these difficult times we find ourselves in with COVID unrest in the country, the one thing Jesus can give us is hope hope of deliverance. So we're going to do that song for you right now. One, two, three. One, two, three. I will always be hoping, hoping for you will always be holding, holding my heart in your hand I will understand Ooh, I will understand someday one day you will understand always always from now until then or when it will be right I don't know what it will be like, I don't know. We live in hope of deliverance from the darkness that surrounds us. Hope of deliverance, hope of deliverance, hope of deliverance from the darkness that surrounds us. I wouldn't mind knowing, knowing that you wouldn't mind going, going along with my plan. When it will be right, I don't know what it will be like. I don't know. We live in hope of deliverance from the darkness that surrounds us. Of deliverance, hope of deliverance, hope of deliverance from the darkness that surrounds us.
from the darkness that surrounds us. Great song, Fina. You know, I, I, I never heard that song until we did it. Yeah. Until you brought it in. Isn't that a good team? a great song. Arianne. Yes. Yeah, you're going to sing a, a little uh, bluesy kind of rocker here. Salt and Light. Yes. Okay. Well, I can do this. All right, let's do this. Okay. I love this song.
fun here and we're just getting started I'm just getting I'm getting all kinds of energy going here you know uh, when I was growing up I was I was a guy who used to listen to blues bands um, like you know BB King and I loved Ray Charles and I, so that was the kind of music I came up with actually I started singing in church first with my mom and my family but then you know growing up and getting on my own I was always listening to these blues guys and started singing like that. And uh, so I wrote a song. This was actually back then, too. It's called Let Jesus Fill Your Soul. Here's a little blues. Here we go. Now, I probably forgot to mention how the 
the sets work here in this situation. So it's an acoustic set. That's what that giant fiddle's all about, right? No, it's a upright bass next to a standing upright citizen. Uh, we love Kirk. He is uh, one of the inspirational guys around here. Uh, but this next song, I came up here to intro to you. Uh, as everything they're doing means a lot to me, this particular song is one that's very special to me. And um, I want you to think about this. When things aren't going well in your life, because you've fallen down, you've gotten hurt, you made some mistakes, or maybe just everything around you seems to be going wrong. I don't know. Does that happen to anybody in 2020? Yeah. Uh, I think so. I want you to think about this. The light of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is placed in each of us. Not because of anything we've done, not because we've earned it. And thank God, there's really nothing we can do to lose it. It's a free gift of grace of God in us. And those moments when we fall and we crack and we break, and they come and they will come, that's when that light that is buried deep in us, that gives us life, that gives us hope, that gives us energy, that's when it shines through. Think about that, how your Lord is so mighty that he can use the mistakes you make to shine a light of hope into this dark world. Fino, you want to sing about that? Absolutely. Thank you.
Fantastic job, y'all. Woo! So I'm up here again because it's my fault that uh, this young lady over here has to sing this song. <laughs> but I said, look, we're going to do a song that's kind of a Bon Jovi song. Yeah. And let's cool. just be honest, guys. Who's got the hair for that here? Yeah. <laughs> She's the only one. I, got, I tried to get it bigger, but I didn't. It didn't well, it's not humid enough here. Well, if you go back, and, go back on Robbie's video. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I, as you can tell, am follically challenged, and so I think uh, uh, of uh, Ariane as uh, I idolize what's going on up there. But anyway, uh, <laughs> she's going to bring us a song. Yes, I said Bon Jovi, which uh, you know, Bon Jovi's a Christian guy, but let's just say that this is a rework of Bon Jovi uh, by, a, by an excellent uh, musician slash comedian uh, named Tim Hawkins. But uh, no, that matters. What matters is what she's going to do right now. Yes. I just recently learned this song because Tim showed it to me. I love it. I was a little scared at first. I was like, I don't know if I can do it. And then I'm like, you know what? The lyric spoke to me, and it's like perfect. God was like, you're doing this song. All so right. I'm doing it. I'll do what he said. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's go.
attack he rose from the dead and now he's standing tall he faced a million demons and he rocked them all I'm a Christian the narrow road I ride and Jesus He gave me new life, Jesus, yeah, he gave me new life. Yes, he did. Well done. All right. Ariane Jovi, that's what I say. <laughs> I like it. So, <laughs> we're about to take a break from this set, our acoustic set, and we're going to be in the next set coming up, introducing a whole new cast of characters. But before we do, we got a special guest star appearance from, uh, again, another legend in our, uh, our amazing cavalcade of musicians uh, coming our way from, well, from the internet uh, to all y'all. Uh, Sarah Nimitz has produced a special video for us, and I'm hoping that it's going to make you smile.
smile. Even though I hurt, I smile. I know God is working, I smile. Ooh, I smile. It's so hard to look up when you're down. Sure, I would hate to see you give up now. You look so much better when you smile. So Thank you, thank you. We cannot hear you because, you know, quarantine. But I feel the love coming through the screens. So I uh, would be remiss if I didn't say thank you to Snuffy as well uh, for uh, playing his awesome guitar and that amazing song. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Snuffy. Uh, now I come to you from stage two. Uh, where we're going to be starting a different set. I would say this is a, a rock and roll set, uh, but that would be an understatement, I honestly say. Uh, we're going to be hearing from our youth band, and uh, I have the blessing um, to be the youth leader here at Bethlehem, and I've had an opportunity to work with these incredible people uh, in lots of areas outside of music, the music thing they do on their own. Um, but you're also looking at like a third or a half of our entire AV team is also up here. Uh, so that's why I said if it didn't sound right, it was on me. Well, that's because they're all out here. But we've got Austin and Brandon on guitar here, the brothers. That's why they're allowed to be this close to each other. Uh, behind them, we've got Christian. Give him a wave, Christian. Again, another guy that hits things for a living, Kiki on the drums. Garrett right here in front. All the way over here, the, uh, the fairest member of the team, Viviana. And uh, back there is my boy Richard on the bass. This is our youth band, and uh, they're going to bring some incredible music to life for us. And I want to just give you a mental picture before they kick this first song off. The Bible tells us that all of creation testifies to the glory of God. And I don't know about you, because here in California, where we have like, if you're just in the city, there's like four stars, and they're probably actually planets. When you get just outside, go up the grapevine, or you go to the Midwest, or you go to Hawaii, and you look up, and you just see the incredible incredible sky, the stars, just the amazing vastness of creation that God has placed in the heavens, and yet he still knows and loves each of us. I have that picture in mind as uh, we hear about some stars. All right. Start to wonder how chaos 
lost in the lies The past has sang I believe I have the meaning of existence Of a hope beyond my own And suddenly the infinite penitent Began to look like home I've been thinking about everyone Everyone who looks so empty So this next one's called Awake and Alive. And as you can tell, we are very awake and very alive. Hopefully, right, Richard? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So yeah, um, let's get to it, guys.
I, I hope everyone's awake now. <laughs> I am. <laughs> All right, so this next one is called Meant to Live. And if we were to ask John Foreman what it meant, he would not tell us. So he would leave it up to your own interpretation, as do I. So here's the next song. <laughs> Wondering why the world is past in black. Hoping that he's been for more than arguments and failed attempts. Providence and whether mice and men have second try. Maybe we've been living with our eyes half open. Maybe we're bent and broken. Broken. Awesome job. Awesome job. That is one of my all-time favorite songs, and now by one of my all-time favorite group of people. Wow. Um, a question for you. Do you guys know how to slow it down at all? <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Just a little bit? Um, you know, it's a good time to maybe slow it down, just for a minute, because it's important that we remember a few things. There are struggles in this world. We've talked about them tonight. We're pointing to hope. And one of the things that should give us the greatest amount of hope, that should inspire the greatest amount of hope, is the realization that in your struggles and in mine, our God is fighting for us. He's not fighting for us when we're doing the wrong. He's fighting for us because he loves us. He's fighting for us because he believes in us. He's fighting for us because he has a purpose for us. I think you're seeing the purpose he has in these young people. God has a purpose for you as well. And as Viviana brings this song to life, I want you to really take hold of that reality. Whatever you're facing, our God is fighting for you.
So this next one is one of our, it's an original that we wrote just for you guys, just for this event. And uh, we're going to see how it plays out, right guys? <laughs> that's, the, that's the look, right Austin? <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Yep. Died one day upon a cross Torturous land to save my loss The sacrifice was not in vain For by blood my sin was paid And they say he's gone He's dead and gone And they say he's gone He's dead and gone That he's dead and gone But I know Dead and dead. Yeah. He rose again, again. He laid inside a tomb Motionless, he laid unmoved He went to hell and vanquished death Three days passed and he rose again And they say he's gone He's dead and gone And they say he's gone He's dead and gone That he's dead and gone But he's not, he is my home Everything that I have A rock and strength He never left But still remains To everything He rescues me
cause he loves you He never left cause he loves you He never left cause he loves you He never left That was fantastic. Wow. And you guys wrote that. Pretty impressive. So uh, they got one more song for us. I don't know if they got the energy for it. We'll find out in just a minute. But I want you to think about the... Well, that happened. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. There's a, that's the way it goes. I'd say, hey, Austin, mute that guy, but you're over here. Anyway, uh, we got one last song on this set, and I want you to uh, picture again something incredible. There's just dirt. Sounds incredible, doesn't it? I mean, if that dirt was a beach in Hawaii, but I'm getting off topic. Picture there's just dirt. And somehow, that dirt gets molded in the shape of a dude. It's still dirt. But then our God breathes life into that. And the first man comes into being. Now, of course, that first man would bring other things with him along the way, like sin. But then, as we all know, the hope we have is in a God who breathed life into that dirt and breathes life into this dirt that will bring us back to him, no matter again and again, no matter how often we are dirty, no matter how often we fail, our God breathes life into us. I hope you feel that tonight, with a mask on, of course, but I hope you feel that tonight. All right, you guys ready? You guys ready? I have to stretch. <laughs> They're just getting ready for this one because they got to catch their breath. They look young, but, you know, they're a little out of shape. We haven't done a concert in a long time. <laughs> just teasing All right, we've got the green light. Rock and roll. Okay. So this one's called Breathe Into Me. And the way I sort of interpret this is, you know, God and... God breathing his life into us, which we need daily. And um, sort of is a picture of grace for me. Just uh, take it what you will, but like a breath of grace. So anyways, this is breathing to me. How it feels when I ignore the words you spoke to me And this is where I lose myself When I keep running away from you And this is who I am when When I don't know myself anymore And this is what I choose when It's all left up to me Breathe your life into me When I finally hit the ground And this is how it hurts when I pretend I don't feel anything This is how I disappear When I throw myself away Breathe your life into me I can't feel you
Awesome job. Woo! I do caution you against singing that song when you go out and about, though. You don't want people hearing you say that, all right? <laughs> Maybe wear something, you know, a mask. But no, that was fantastic. Thank you. I want to just, around the globe, if you are watching this, please raise up your applause for these guys and our young lady friend who's missing. There she is. Fantastic job. Thank you so much. All right, so they're going to now go and get oxygen. And uh, we are going to hear again from our special guest uh, across the interwebs, special video uh, made for us for tonight by Sarah Nimitz. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite songs, now sung again by one of my all-time favorite people. So uh, here we go. Let's listen to Sarah. Sometimes what you need is what you find Like a wounded man out on the run like shadows hiding from the light But your love is what I was running from Hope is the seed you have to sow When you let it go, it comes to life So stretch your arrows on the bow And you pull them back and watch them all of you out there uh, from our church from Bethlehem the Bethlehem family uh, we're going to continue on How about, raise it for the youth group come on let's hear yeah. for the youth group awesome. and again for Tim and this crew putting us all together um, we're going to do another uh, original song uh, Robbie I don't know if you're still with us Robbie uh, and Ray Reynolds who was with me at, in the passion play at um, Shepherd of the Hills and myself, we wrote this song, I think it was like 19 or 20 years ago, we recorded it, and it's called Take My Hand, and Ariane and I are gonna do it. And uh, you know, no matter what's going on out there, God has got you by his right hand. And if you believe that, he will set you free, amen? You're my life, sweet Jesus You've made me who I am I will walk with you 
through this desert land I will be your witness to all men take my heart take my soul take my life take Follow you my whole life long by your Holy Spirit. I understand. Take my heart, take my soul, take my life. Take my hand. Teach me, Jesus. teach me, Jesus. Show
Tony, still with us? Fantastic. <laughs> hey, I got a quick, quick thing to say here. here. Mark, Mark Farner, Farner, who wrote this, uh, did he write this song? I can't remember if he cover, covered this or wrote it. I, I'm, I'm but he sure. changed the lyrics because uh, Mark, Mark Farner, Farner from Grand, Grand Funk, Funk Railroad, <clears throat> we both come from Michigan, by the way, uh, he wrote this, these lyrics to Some Kind of Wonderful. And it's really something what he did to it. So we're going to give it a shot right now. All right. Uh, we're going to see, huh? Yeah. A one, two, three, four. <laughs>
Some kind of wonderful. Fino. Yeah, Tony. Yeah. Well, let's walk the walk. Here's another original, folks. I hope you're not getting tired out there. <laughs> we're not. We're just waking up here. <laughs> we're going to be here till 4 a.m. We want to praise Jesus till about, yeah, till about yeah. 4 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, we'll be Put here. <laughs> keep your, uh, keep your uh, phones uh, charged. <laughs> Amen. Uh, let's walk the walk with Jesus. You want to hear this one? Let's do it. Come on. Let's walk the walk with Jesus. Take that journey to the promised land. All along the way, he said he'll be right beside us. Giving us strength, giving us power day by day. There will be trials and tribulation. There will also be joy and happiness. But as we move toward our final destination, we'll see His loving face. Prepared in heaven. Heaven is the journey place for our rest in our end. Then we will live with Him oh, in glory. Never to thirst, never to hunger, never to hurt again. Oh, let's walk, we'll walk with Jesus. the sunshine and the rain supplies the food we need for us to remain faithful and true in every way our golden footsteps will guide us every day play it
that walk. Sometimes it ain't easy, but it's to the right place. You know, there's a heaven. Amen? Amen. And we have to be the light that shines. We do. Right? For yes, everybody around. It is hard, but we have to do it. It's hard sometimes, but, but we are the ones, yeah. the ones who he believe. He gives us yeah. the strength. Well, let's Amen. Do this one. She's going to sing. This let's one's called well, Jesus is the light. Yes. Here we go. But I Jesus, oh why Jesus, oh why Jesus, yeah this world is full of darkness, but I Jesus is the light, we gotta keep our eyes on him, well there's trouble all around us, but I Jesus, oh why Jesus, oh why Jesus, yeah this
done, y'all. You haven't seen me in a while. Thought I'd come say hi. So, uh, wow, that was incredible. I have a question for you at home. I can't hear you, but I think I know the answer to this question because it's rhetorical. Have you ever found yourself, oh, I don't know, fighting against something, anything really? You're in a fight, and then somewhere along the way, you just lose sight of why you're even in the fight. Why am I doing this? Why am I struggling? Why am I against these things? Why are these things against me? But really, the bigger question that we have to ask is, is it worth it? Are we fighting for what's worth it? Now, I would suppose that sometimes it is the case. You're fighting, fighting a disease. You're fighting for a job. Those things are definitely worth your fight. But what's behind all that, what's more important than all that, is the love. The love that you have for your family, the love you have for your brothers and sisters in, in faith, but above all that, the source of love, God. God's love is always worth the fight. And I'll say it in a different way. If you're fighting for anything and you don't find there's love in it, then it's not worth it. For love alone is worth the fight.
Well, my friends, we've got one last song in this set. And then after that, we're going to have another visit by our brother Robbie in the Wayback Machine. And we're probably going to see a few other people in the Wayback Machine as well. Uh, and uh, we're going to have a, a special song as we commemorate uh, the anniversary of 9-11 and as we celebrate our heroes. But right now, we're going to celebrate really the best hero, our biggest hero, the mightiest of heroes, and the only hero that can truly bring us peace. You and I need to try for peace. We need to make sure when we're fighting, it is love alone that is worth it. But the reality is we are short of being peacemakers more often than I think we want to admit. But we have a God who is a peacemaker. He is the Prince of Peace. And it's his glory that will bring ultimate peace in this world. My encouragement to you now is just let that peace flow over you now as we, uh, as we wrap this set with this wonderful song. One star burns in the darkness Shines with the promise Emmanuel One child born in the stillness Living within us, Emmanuel. We're singing glory, glory. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. We're singing glory, glory. Let there be peace. Let it start. One voice speaks for the voices, hope for the hopeless Emmanuel. One love brings us together, now and forever, Emmanuel. We're singing glory. Singing glory, glory, let there be peace, let it stop in me. Do not be afraid, his love is strong enough to save us. No. Let there be peace, 
let it start in me. Thank you all. That was fantastic. Whew. Now you're thinking, yep, he's got a tag on his shirt here still. Yep, that's true. Abby tried to stop me, and I appreciate that. She's always looking out for me. I'm changing this shirt not just because I will take every opportunity to go Steelers, but this shirt has a greater, a greater reason to be on me right now. Uh, this shirt has never been worn before. Uh, it was purchased for me uh, by my mother-in-law to commemorate the inaugural game at Heinz Field, a brand new stadium that Pittsburgh built uh, back in 2001. But this game never happened. Uh, she bought me this shirt before the events of 9-11, and this game was canceled as a result of that. And I've kept this shirt as sort of a, a reminder that, that humbles me at the same time as uh, it's a bit of a ghost in my closet. I can't deny that. And I was thinking about this while I was standing here. I'm standing next to Abby working in the booth, who was a tiny little infant when those events happened. And uh, I was uh, thinking my wife and I were expecting when these events happened. Goodness how much God has done in the time since that happened in this country, in my life, in this church. That youth band, they were little kids. Some of them weren't born yet. Um, wow. What it reminds me of, and uh, certainly less dramatically, the Super Bowls that my Steelers won after this event reminds me, <laughs> is that our God is not slowed down or stopped by the stupid things we do in this world, by our sin, by our failures. COVID, it's got nothing on him. As we remember the events of 9-11, where you were when it happened, maybe who you lost, at least what you saw, we're going to go back in that Wayback Machine again, a video that Robbie put together for us, which was the closeout of the uh, Jam for Freedom and then when we return from that, we're going to have a last few words, and then we're going to have a tremendous song from our brother Tony here. You get to see him transform from the video to the version we have now. <laughs> All right, please join us. Hey, and if it will, if we let it destroy. Oh, 
Gorbetta. If I could, I'd protect you from the sadness in your eyes, give you courage in a world of compromise. Yes, I would. From the mountains to the prairie to the ocean, wide with home. God bless America, my home, sweet. Thank you so much, Robbie, for uh, providing that to us. We are so grateful to you for uh, your years and years of service, brotherhood, and faith. You're an inspirational leader to each and every one of us in some way or, or another, and, uh, and you're, uh, you're ageless, I tell you. But anyway, um, wow, that was very special. 
I uh, just want to encourage you, if you haven't uh, participated yet in funding a Bible stick, uh, please go to the BethlehemSCV.com slash hope page, and um, we just appreciate you buying as many Bible sticks as you're, as you're able to. Uh, know that uh, annually our church does this as a big fundraiser in the month of May, but I think we all know what happened this year in the month of May. Uh, we actually didn't have the month of May, I don't think, right? It just whoosh, uh, my uh, Many in our, in our uh, youth group missed graduations and all kinds of other stuff, and I know there's tons of you who lost something, had to give up something this summer because of this COVID stuff. But I don't think that we should be giving up on the chance to send the word of God to our soldiers, sailors, and airmen freely to, for them uh, to learn the hope that we have been celebrating and singing about. I haven't been singing, uh, but uh, we have been celebrating. I've been dancing. Um, and I got to say, you know, as a, as a son of a veteran of Vietnam, as a grandson of a POW and veteran of World War II, um, let me just ask you, please, don't just think about Bible sticks, but think about praying for our heroes. Uh, we are so blessed to live in this nation, to be able to do what we're doing right now. And um, man, our heroes have given a lot for us to be able to do that. <sighs> Tony, let's think about that, bro. Thanks and praise for our day. the sun, neath the stars, neath the sky, as we go this we know God is not. From the sands of Iwo Jima To the coast of Normandy In a thousand sacred places Lie the sons of liberty
Well, that was incredible. Uh, man. <clears throat> hey, band. I never told you this, uh, but when, when we're done here, we're going to put like on the stream credits so that everybody knows about these amazing songs and where we got them from, including ones like that one that you wrote. And Oh, you didn't write that one? Write I'm that. sorry. Well, it you brought Dean it. Lee. Look at that. Tr truth right there. <laughs> and I do know that tag is still on my shirt, by the way. Um, but uh, we're going to put those on. So if you don't mind playing us out when I, after we get our closing prayer, you know, just a little music behind those lyrics. Those, is that all right? Anything, uh, yeah. Well, we you know, got, we got a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So while they get ready for that, I do want to do a few things here. First, I want to thank everybody that stayed up this late with us. Uh, anything I do always runs over. We all know that. I want to thank our AV team, and in particular, it's a small band in the AV team here. We got uh, Abby and Andy and Scott on the cameras and on the audio and the video. Yeah. Just so proud of you guys. So grateful for you. Our youth band, I could not say enough for how grateful I am for you guys and your talent. Woo! Sarah Nimitz, we love you, we miss you. Sarah. Robbie Robinson, brother. Robbie, brother. You're the man. Uh, uh, you guys, you guys, thank you so much for your hard work, your dedication. Tim, thank you for all you, what yes. you do behind thank the you, scenes, Tim. not only in front of the camera. Thanks, buddy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say, all of you out there, it's amazing what Tim and this crew does, the time they put in, the effort, the work, the hard work, just give it up for them because uh, Andy. Without, the, without them, this wouldn't be happening. Yep. Even our church services. Yep. Well, thanks, guys. We appreciate that. And we know where all that comes from. We've got a God who keeps giving and giving and giving, and it is super easy to give back when you realize everything you have is a gift from your God. I want to thank our congregation and friends around the, uh, the globe that are participating in this. Above all, I want to thank our Lord in heaven for blessing us with extraordinary, talented people, music, gifts of hope, love, and life that we celebrated tonight. Would you please bow your heads as we close in prayer? Dear Lord, thank you so much for your gifts. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for the music. But Lord, thank you so much more for the hope. Lord, I pray that as we come out from this tonight, each of us would have just this huge library of hope-filled things to remember from tonight. When something gets in our way, we're going to turn to you. You are our hope. You are our light. We love you, Lord Jesus. Now, please bless us as we, uh, as we end this tonight. Bless all those homes who tuned in, and bless these wonderful people who have to go home late because I keep talking. I love you, Lord Jesus, and I thank you. Amen. Amen. Good night, everybody. We love you. Thank you.